The entrepreneur, Dale Vince, joined the eco-activists as they slow march through central London. But he's now announced that he'll stop funding them and focus instead on getting the vote out for Labour in next year's election. He says no amount of protest will stop the Conservative government drilling in the North Sea, a markedly different position to the one he held in July when he praised Just Stop Oil's tactics. The more disruptive a protest, the, the more it works. You, you can't sit quietly by the side of the road and, and, and wave a placard or something. You can, but you won't have an impact. Disruption makes news, and news gives us the, the route to talk about the issue. And Dale Vince joins me now live from Stroud. Thanks very much for joining us. Just a few months ago, we saw you join Just Stop Oil as it was halting traffic through central London. What's changed? Well, the facts on the ground have changed, haven't they? We've seen a Conservative government unaffected by protests, actually doubling and trebling down and creating an anti-green agenda. They talked this uh, last week in, in their conference about green wokery and eco-zealots and stuff like that. You know, they've pushed back the deadline for the banning of new petrol cars um, and, and done all kinds of things. I mean, what we've got now is an anti-green agenda from the government. Protest will not only not sway them, it will feed their culture war narrative. And uh, I don't want to be a part of that. It makes no sense to me. It's counterproductive. I mean, you're doing this just ahead of the Labour Party conference. The Labour leader made it quite clear what he thought of just stop all tactics. He said they were contemptible. H has Labour asked you to distance yourself from just stop oil? No, they haven't. I've never had a conversation about it, no more than I've ever had a conversation with Labour about their own North Sea policy. That's a fiction of the media. I mean, you said before, when laws are unjust, you have to stand up and do something about it. Does giving cash to a mainstream mm. political party, is, is that the equivalent of standing up and doing something? Uh, pr protesting is, um, I was listening to a show just now about what's happening in Iran. Protest is a basic democratic freedom. We don't enjoy that anymore in this country like we used to. It's not as bad as Iran. But look, two Just Our Boyle protesters are in prison for seven years for some disruption in uh, Dartford Tunnel. And this week I read that the guy that broke into Buckingham Palace with a crossbow to kill the Queen, he's going to go to jail for nine years. But, but it, isn't that an argument for continuing to, to support the protesters? Well, no, like I said, the facts on the ground have changed. The Tories haven't just made clear that they won't stop drilling for oil. They're doing more. They've announced hundreds of new licenses, not just a handful that did exist six months ago, and all kinds of anti-green measures. They're rowing back on net zero. They're, they're spreading misinformation about the cost of the green economy. But and and it's, it's honestly so dangerous for our country, and they're doing it just to try and get themselves elected. I mean, just stop oil. We're very polite about you ending your links with them, but they were pretty blunt about your new partners. Labour to say politics is utterly broken and the Labour Party is tinkering around the edges while the world burns. I mean, do not feel slightly embarrassed about changing, well, look, changing horses. But I haven't. Labour are not my new partners. I've been funding Labour for probably a decade. I fund all kinds of things. I've funded the Lib Dems, the Greens, uh, uh, school breakfast clubs, food banks, even a women's refuge here in Stroud. Nobody talks about that stuff, just Labour and Just Stop Oil. They're not my new partners. I believe that the Labour government gets the green economy and will make the changes that we need. The, the, I mean, the, the really Tories, the, the Conservatives right would Rishi say that actually, the, the Conservatives would say that their focus has been on cost of living, and there's a reason for that, because it, it, it's mm. what the, the public want. But I just want to ask, you know, the problem with political donors is that everyone wants to know what they want for their money. And that is the question people will be asking about yeah. you supporting Labour now I instead understand. of just stop. I understand. I was just, I, I was just, yeah, sorry, we've got no overlap. I was just about to say, the real problem here is Rishi Sunak is justifying this anti-green movement on the basis of the cost of living. He's giving false information that we can't afford the green economy, that drilling for fossil fuels can lower our bills and give us energy security. That is absolutely false. Only green energy can do both of those things. And the answer to the cost of living crisis is the green economy. And that's the real terrible thing that, that's happening right now. And I've always made clear I want nothing for the contributions that I give to any of the organisations that I give money to. I give them money because I believe in what they're yeah. trying to do. Dale Vince, thank you very much. Sorry to cut you off, um, but thank you very much for talking to us.